Not too long ago, talking cars were only seen in sci-fi movies and on TV. Hello, I'm Johnny Cat. But with Apple's new CarPlay, anyone with a compatible dash and an iPhone 5 or higher can turn their car into their very own kit. I don't understand. So we're here in a 2016 Corvette Stingray. It's 450 horsepower, seven speed manual, and it's a blast to drive. But today we're talking about Apple's CarPlay. CarPlay is Apple's answer to Google's Android Auto, an in-dash system which runs through your phone. Currently available on the Corvette Stingray and soon to be compatible with almost every major car manufacturer, CarPlay hopes to further integrate your smartphone into yet another part of your daily life by turning your complicated dashboard into a simplified screen with familiar apps. All the basics are here, phone, messages, music, and more. But perhaps the most useful feature is the one you actually can't see. Send email. To whom shall I send it? That's right, Siri is now writing Shotgun as your own personal assistant, DJ, and navigator, among other things. She can schedule reminders for you. Remind me to pick up milk on the way home today. I'll remind you when you leave here. Tell you how to get to your favorite pizza place. Siri, bring me to pizza. Okay, one option I see is Badrin Mediterranean Restaurant. And even answer some of life's most difficult questions. Siri, what's the meaning of life? Try and be nice to people, avoid eating fat, read a good book every now and then, get some walking in. Text messaging with Siri is impressive too, as she's able to interpret incoming texts. You have a message from Brad. It says, Hey, want to get some Chipotle? And record and send outgoing ones. CarPlay is, however, an Apple product. And that means Apple wants you to use their apps. So there's no Google Maps and no Google Hangouts. Apple Maps works fine for simple directions, but watch out. This isn't Google Maps. So sometimes you might find yourself taking a less than ideal route and could be staring at brake lights as punishment. The music experience could use some work too. Apple forces you to use their music app if you want to use voice commands. Spotify is there if you want to access it through your touchscreen, but that kind of negates the purpose of having Siri behind the wheel. Apple's CarPlay also has trouble balancing between music and Spotify. If you tell Siri to play Outkast in Spotify, it will instead play whatever you were last listening to in Apple Music. So frustrating. The Apple Music app also constantly kicks back on whenever you do things like search for locations in Apple Maps. Overall, CarPlay is a welcome driving companion and most cars are going to support both CarPlay and Android Auto, so you won't have to pick a favorite. If you have an iPhone, you'll use CarPlay, and if you have Android, you'll use Android Auto. If I had to pick one though, I would pick Android Auto simply because it supports Google Maps as well as Hangouts. Oh no, it's the cops. <laughs>